<laughs> Woohoo! I, I tamed a Casteroids! Holy crap, you guys. I am on the modded server again. I don't know how, and I don't know why, but I am here nonetheless. I just randomly decided, you know what? I'm gonna try logging in again, see what happens. And as luck would have it, I managed to get on. Now things are pretty choppy for me here still um, at spawn, so I apologize for that. Hopefully it won't be unwatchable for you. Um, but I am so far behind now, guys, because everyone has been playing for weeks and weeks on here, and I have not been, so I've got a lot of catch-up work to do. I do not know how often or you know when I will be able to get on at any given point, but I at least want to do as much as I can while I can, basically. So today, I'm gonna get some metal smithing up. It took me a long time to find where the freaking metal uh, nodes actually are, and I found some up on that, wait, on one of the hills along the coast over there, um, and I've been poking around a little bit, and these beautiful blast furnace things. You, uh, you put in three metal ingots and some powdered coke, which is just made out of wood, and it will make six ingots, out of those three metal ores. So that is pretty okay by me. I'm gonna turn that on and I'm gonna get that stuff cooking up. That is so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. And also, thank you so much to whoever left some free birds over here. There were three of these free Argentavises um, all lined up all about the same level. I claimed one, I've been leveling it up and the melee damage is almost 6,000. This guy is a flipping beast. Um, I've also bumped up the health a little bit and it's taking forever to actually heal that up again. Uh, so I ran around, I looted some, some beaver dams to get some rare flowers. We will need those very shortly. And then a bunch of cementing paste. I found an ascendant scorpion saddle in a loot drop, which I may or may not use in the future, we shall see, and a couple other random assortments of things. I don't really need these blueprints or recipes for anything. So I'm pretty sure one of the main ways that's going to help me get started here when I do manage to get on and play is to have some better tames. And to do that, actually I can hop downstairs, Oop. I should have grabbed the rare flowers first. To do that, um, I need some, some narco shots, <laughs> some trank darts, basically. Let me grab those up. So I was doing a little bit of research on what you can use, because I know there's a couple different mods that have different tranquilizer type things in them. And it seems like, from what I can tell, if we come over... Which one is it? It's the advanced, yeah, advanced crafting station. If we come over here, I have learned the engram for... The X Trank Dart 30cc, and it's used in a long neck rifle. Um, I can only craft three of them because of the rare flower shortage. That is sad. But I'll craft those three up. From what I can tell, these things are absolute beasts. I also made up some X arrows, webs, and tranquilizes tranquilizers <laughs> your target, preventing them from fleeing. So I thought I might give that a shot as well. Now, I don't have a long neck on me. I could make a basic one. Over here, though, in the community bookshelf, check this out. There's an Ascendant blueprint here. Ascendant long neck rifle, and it takes almost 5,000 metal ingots. Um, and then the wood and the hide is not an issue. 5,000 metal ingots, though. But I'm wondering, with this blast furnace, how much we'll be able to get, because my bird has pretty good weight to it. Um, yeah, 1500 weight, so I can get probably like 800 metal on board there. Let's see how things are looking. Um, so if it's, hmm, divide that by three, multiply by six. <laughs> uh, it's a decent amount, I don't know if I want to bother I think, well, hold on. For now, at least I can just do a regular long neck and give it a shot. Um, unlearned long neck rifle. I need a flare gun for that. I have uh, almost 4,000 Angrams, so it shouldn't be too much of a... What? 
much of an issue. What's the difference with this one? Advanced Smithy. Why? Weird. Okay. There's so many mod things going on. Oh, yeah. See, I have... I have some learned and not others. That's really strange. Um, I'll go ahead and grab up some of that metal now, actually. Sheboygan. Alrighty, so let's, uh, let's find out what we need for a long neck. And then I might need to do a little more flying around for some more rare flowers, because I don't want to go at something with just three of these darts. It might do the job, because from what I've seen, they're crazy, crazy OP. But, uh, I should still... I should still come prepared, you know? Um, that's an advanced smithy. Advanced crafting station. Uh, weapons, firearms... So what makes it makes it advanced? That's what I'm curious about, because it's still just 70 durability, 100% damage. Weird. Okay, so some people left some stuff in there already. I just need a little more hide and some cementing paste, and then I'll, I'll bop those in there as well. And I think all those things are up on the bird. So we can do that. Um, leveling the bird has been amazing. It can run... Whoa, whoa! It can run around and just ruin pretty much anything at this point. Um, and you can, like, pick up a beaver or something and smack it around and kill it, and then you get, like, 500,000 levels. It's pretty awesome. It might be a slight overstatement, just slightly, but it's pretty awesome nonetheless. All right, so let's make up this, this long neck. And I think, you know, if I have time and if I manage to get on some more... In my spare time, I'm going to grind up a lot of metal so we can make that Ascendant one, because that would feel so freaking good. Alright, so we're going to get this guy crafting. Did I, did I click you? Hello? I'm actually going to hold on to the rest of that, and I'll, I'll leave the other stuff for other peoples who may be trying to use it. And bloop, and then... Uh, hold up. Long neck rifle. I wonder if it's because I made it in the advance station? Okay, let me grab this stuff up again, actually. Um, and then I need cementing paste, I need some wood, I'll grab a little bit of that. And some oil, let me grab a little bit of that as well. Okay, let's try this on just a regular old smithy. Are you a regular old smithy? You are. So pop that stuff in there. Uh, weapons. Firearms. Metal. Wait, what? Am I short on metal? Did I leave some metal behind? Hold up now. Hmm. Hold up. Wait a minute. Well, people have been very kind and generous to leave some stuff behind, so I shall avail myself of the free goodies, because I'm a mooch. <laughs> Basically, everybody's so far ahead at this point, they ain't even gonna care, even if they may have cared in the past. All right, so let's try this one. And this should just be, you know, the regular old vanilla long neck. I honestly cannot tell what the difference is supposed to be between the two of them. Okay, so made up, got a level. Let's put this on our hot bar. Okay, yeah, and this can load into it. Weird. So whatever this advanced one is, no bueno. I'm just gonna drop it. I ain't even give no care. And then we will load it up with Zidart. Boom. Cool. Cool beans. All right, so I think next order of business, I'm gonna leave this running. I just wanna check and see how things are looking. Um, yeah, I'm getting there. You know, a couple trips, I could probably get that 5k without too, too much of an issue. Let's get some movement speed going. So I am going to try to farm up a little bit more of the, the rare flowers and a little bit more of the metal, and I'll bring you guys back in after that. Alrighty, well, metal is cooking up, and I've made a few more of the darts after going through... Some more beaver dams, picking up some more of the flowers. Let's see, how are we sitting right now? Yeah! We're over a grand! Alright, we're well on our way. Well on our way. Now, speaking of beavers... Hello? 
Can I not be stuck, please? I was thinking that would probably be a decent guy for me to go after for this uh, trial run of Tranking. Uh, they should be pretty easy to take down. They're not hard to find. Like, here's another beaver dam already. Um, and usually where there's dams, there's beavers. I might, if there's not a beaver, which I don't see one, I think I'm just going to go ahead and loot this for its uh, flowers real quick. Because I still was not even able to make a ton more of the darts. I have ten total, nine there, one in the clip. Uh, from what I've seen, that should definitely be plenty to at least take one dino down, one creature. Hey, XB is on! How's it going, XB? Uh, I'm just going to grab that, and then I think I'm going to drop those so that the whole thing disintegrates, and then another one will spawn elsewhere. Um, but yeah, if I want to do any building, I think having one of these guys in the wings for wood collecting and just for holding and transporting the resources in general would be super helpful. Uh, so there's a, some dead ones that I just left laying around, because there was like three of the dams right here, so I cleared out the area that I might that I might loot the place a little bit safer. The frog would be cool too. Um, but I did leave some alive over here, I noticed. Now, I was hoping to be able to make one of those little spy glasses so I could check out from a distance who's what level and all that. I could not, for the life of me, find any crystal in the spawn area. Um, there's like every other type of free access resource you could imagine there. But not two crystal. I only need two crystal. And the place that I was at for metal, I didn't remember seeing any crystals there. It's kind of weird playing a new map. Like, I'm so familiar with the island, I have no idea what's going on in this map. Okay, let's just grab you, and we'll be able to see what you are. Level 112, that's probably not worth my time, honestly. So I'll just murder you. Thank you for your business. Uh, do we have any others around here? They seem to like to hang out. Although the other one might be a little upset now that I just killed his buddy. Understandably. Oh, hey, here's a couple. Or one. There's one that I had killed before <laughs> after I came down from the mountain. Uh, 308. You know what? I think that'll do just fine. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Okay, so let's bring this guy out somewhere safe-ish. Is this going to be safe-ish? I don't see anybody in the immediate vicinity running around or nothing other than a crocodile. <laughs> okay, so it's not totally safe. Although he's far enough away, I can take him out with the bird, no problemo. Yeah, I think this will work just fine. So let's drop him down. I have no idea how this is going to go. I'm going to put you on passive. We're going to whip out the rifle. Where'd he go? Where'd he waddle off to? There you are. You dang guy. Pop. Okay, so he's probably going to be mad. And I didn't hit him in the head. Did he fall asleep? Um, I'm not currently being attacked. Or is he just running away? Why... Hmm, he might end up dying if I'm not careful. Okay, are we asleep? We are. Okay, and that's the 308. Cool. So let's hop on the bird and then go kill that Sarko before he causes a problem. And I'll make sure to put you back on neutral. Um, I might, while he's starving out, I might want to double check on what kibble they need. I've actually never tamed a beaver, either in modded or in arc. Uh, vanilla, so I need to do a little bit of research on what it is he needs. But I'm gonna hang out here, watch him sleep for a little bit, and I'll get back with you guys. Alright, so those little guys need a Gallimimus, Gallimimus egg kibble, which uh, I don't believe is sitting in this free to use kibble holder thing. Uh, so I'm also going to just grab some veggies. Uh, we've got. What are you? Does it even say? Am I just missing it? You are citronel. Citronel. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce half of these things! Uh, we'll grab some of those. And I guess we'll grab some of those as well. And then, let's see. Let's just check and see if there happens to be any Gallimimus 
kibble or egg or anything of such sort. Over here in the vending machine, we got Argin, Bronto, some metal, <laughs> Carbo. Wait a second. <gasps> you can. What? You can just make it straight out of metal? What? That's insane! I thought this thing was just for storage. What? Okay, well, hold up. I have a lot of metal that is smelting currently. If I reclaim some of it... That is so broken! <laughs> Alright. Um, we will use... Uh, I guess I can't use quite that much. Let's start with this. That will give us a few kibble. I don't care if it's a perfect tame or not. I'm not one of those that's really up on that. But uh, I would like to try to do as good of a job as possible. That's insane! I mean, it takes a while. It takes a good long while. I'm really hoping I don't lose the beaver, like, forget where I left him sleeping. I probably should have just brought him over towards spawn, but... Um, in fact... I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get some more metal in there. I could only carry so much at one time. I'm gonna get a little bit more going, so I definitely have plenty of kibble. And then I'm gonna make a run back. Uh, get some get some narco in the guy. Make sure I can still find him. Make sure he's still healthy. And then by the time I get back, hopefully all this craziness will be ready. This is insane. No wonder everybody was able to do such good tames, and they had so many freaking uh, kibbles and stuff like that. So broken. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hop on bird here, and I'll get back with you guys in a bit. All right, let's see how good my memory is. I need to follow the river for a while and then look for a good-sized clump of rocks on the right-hand side. I do not believe that's the clump. I believe this is the clump. Yep, and then a little bit further, and then over to the left. Oh, and I can even see him laying there. Dang, I'm good. All right, let's see. Are you still sleepy? His, his torpor was dropping pretty decently while I was watching. Yeah. It goes quickish. Let's hop some of that in there. Let's see, how much work is that going to do for us? It's rising. But it went down quite a bit. And then let's see, his food... Oh man, his food is going slow. That could be an issue. Well, I mean, it's just a matter of time which is obnoxious to me, but I'll get over it. And I think I'm probably going to want more narcotic, even. I'm just going to go ahead and drop all of that in there. So he gets good and sleepy. All right, yeah, we we know what to do from here on out. Just uh, keep him sleeped up, and get some of that kibble ready, and then we will be golden. I must admit, I'm getting pretty impatient with this guy, so I think I'm just going to pop in what kibble I have and see what happens. I, you know, with, with uh, modded uh, levels and stuff like this, I really have no idea what to expect, so I think I'm just going to give it a shot and see what happens. Wait, is this... Huh. Is this different narcotic? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but let's see, um, so his consciousness, okay, about halfway, food is only down 750, but yeah, I don't know, let's just give it a shot, let's pop nine kibble in there, see what happens, oh, son of a crap, I've been waiting way too long, <laughs> gosh darn it, <laughs> woohoo, I, I tamed a casteroids, oh, awesome, so let's see, 461, it was like right over 300 before, right? And I noticed this little guy was running around back there, but I think he's pretty low level. Uh, yeah, 84. Pfft. Look at that! Casteroids! Okay, let's make sure you are happy. And then we can... Oh, it's so nice you can grab them with the birds. That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm A-OK -okay with that. So he took... Oh, hold on. He's probably going to be eating all that spare kibble. Eh, whatever. Um, the fact that you have to wait so long for the kibble to craft is kind of annoying to me. It's like, if it's already breaking the game so much that you can just buy kibble outright with a little bit of metal, 
why not just break it a little bit further and make the crafting faster? <laughs> I don't understand, like, why they punish you with super slow crafting times. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. I would rather the recipe was more expensive than you have to sit there and wait forever for the dang thing to craft. But regardless, it's an awfully nice way to get us some kibble in your life. Uh, so we're going to come on down here and see what we need to do for the uh, the saddle on this guy. I'm pretty sure I'm high enough level to craft it because I'm like level 100 something already. Alrighty, cool. So let's, uh, let's say don't follow me for now. And let's see what we need to do uh, for the saddle. Cast. Kestroid saddle needs 50 engrams. Wow! And it needs to be done in the smithy. Alrighty. Uh, so let's see. What do we normally need? Probably some some hide, if I had to guess. Uh, potentially some fiber. And then we have like cementing paste and other stuff. Well, I'll go ahead and grab a bunch of it just so I don't have to come back for it. Just in case. Let's go see what we need for this. I've never another thing I've never crafted in Ark before. Uh, and we want the vanilla smithy. I'm guessing. Uh, saddles, hide, fiber, and then metal ingot. Okay, and a bunch of that stuff is in there already, so I'm not even going to bother. Um, I haven't collected up any of the metal that I was smelting up here. Let's see how we've done so far. Uh, look at that, two grand. Nice. I'm A-okay with that. So yeah, if I wanted to get all the way up to 5,000 for the, uh, the Ascendant Longneck... Um, I could do that relatively easy. With relative ease, as B-double-O might say. <laughs> um, I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I bother doing that? Oh, hold on, before I do this, do we have a better blueprint? I always forget to check. Do we has? No, we don't. Alright, so I'll just make a plain old vanilla one. Not that big of a deal, honestly. To me, at least. Maybe it is a big deal, and I just don't know. But not that big of a deal to me. All right, craft that sucker up. Come on. And we are going to be so set for wood now with this beautiful new addition to our our group. Uh, so, as you guys may have noticed, I did not give our Casteroids a name. So, uh, what would you like us to name him? Leave your suggestions in the comments. And it's her. It's not him. It's her. What would you like us to name her? Leave your suggestions in the comments below. Awesome! Alright, so let's hop on and get the bird to follow. And let's just go bite some wood real quick. I want to. Oh, and let's check out the stats. So, health is pretty strong, six grand. I think the bird is in the tens of thousands, but meh. Stamina's good. Uh, food is insane, never gonna get hungry there. Weight definitely is gonna need some work. Melee damage starting at 700, I don't hate. So, yeah, not too bad. I think, um,. Health, well here, let me let me double check. What's the bird at? Come here, bird. Come here. Come here. No, don't go over there. Come here. Yeah, the bird is at 20 grand. Um, so given the nature of critters on this modded server, I might want to bump his health a bit. Um oh, thanks, bird, for just getting in my way and blocking me, you dang guy. Um oh, I'm gonna wreck this dodo for some easy XP and le boop there we go yep let the rev levels the revels <laughs> let the revels roll in so let's see um let's bump I'll get the health to 10,000 look at all these levels I got off of a dodo and then let's get some weight up to a thousand okay so we'll have to work on that for a little bit but as you can see like just by carrying me around with like the metal and stuff I have on me he's already like half burdened down so that's no bueno we're gonna have to work on that obviously this is not like some crazy super hyper guy that is you know the best at everything in the world but uh, it's good enough for me for starting off I need I need some other weak things to ruin but like look at all this stuff he grabs right away I got almost 3,000 wood right away that is insane it's pure insanity oh does he pick up rare flowers 
I think, did I have my backspace on? I did. Or no, I did not. Does he... I'm not seeing it in the list there. Did I put those in? I'm I'm super curious now. Mm hmm. Yeah, as you can see, like he's getting burdened down way, way too quick. But wood gathering accomplished. Look at that. One munch, all the wood you could ever hope for. So that's really gonna help me in getting some building started. Oh, oh, there's a dodo. Perfect. Won't even fight back, and will probably give me some level. This bird just don't ruin this for me. Okay, it didn't level us that time. Oh, it did. It's just taking a little while to update. We got a bug over here I could ruin. Although, here, let's put the bird on passive real quick so he doesn't come and kill steel on me. There we go. Um, anybody else? Oh, there's a bug. You want some? You want some, you dang guy? Come here. Oh, I'm too low. Come over here, bug. Come get some. Where are you? Bird, you are so annoying. Oh my gosh. The bug's gone. Dying it. But hey, mission accomplished. First tame on the modded pooping evolved server. Woohoo! <laughs> Took me long a freak enough, didn't it? Gosh. Oh, uh, let's get the wait. Oh, wow. Wow, I got I got more levels. Amazing. So yes, guys, let me know in the comments what we should name our little lady here. Oh, I just I did just get two rare flowers. Oh, <gasps> hey, nice. Alrighty. Uh, let me know what we should name our little lady here, our little beaver friend. And thank you very much, guys, for watching. Again, I cannot promise when the next modded episode will be coming to you. It's kind of up to up to the luck of the draw, I guess. And again, I apologize if things are a little choppy. I might play around with turning the graphics down a little bit because there's a, so much more going on with modded than there is with vanilla that it, uh, it takes up quite a lot of re computer resources still. But regardless, I had fun on this episode. I hope you guys had fun watching it. Make sure to say hi in the comments, and I will see you guys again next time.